Hello, beautiful people. Where Wins Me is out, and so are its many, many interfaces. As a longtime RuneScape player, I'm used to games with a number of interfaces that will make your head spin, but it can be a lot if this is your first time. There's so many keybinds and screens to try to remember, so I decided to make a short guide talking to you like I'm your friend, giving you just the necessary information that you can come back to and reference anytime you want. So just sit back, relax, and let me run you through the list. To hide and unhide your mouse, press and hold control. And then to sheath and unsheath your weapon, press Z like in zebra. To summon your mount, press 6. And then to ride it, just run up to it and you'll hop on or press F when you're near it. And then you can hop off with tab. To stroll, hold Z. And now you're just walking really, really slowly. If you want to exit it, just hold Z again. To group up with friends, you're going to press U, but I'm only level 2 right now because I've been too busy filming, so it's not going to pop up on my screen, but trust me, that's the button. To open your bag, press B, as in boy. I don't really have anything to show you right now. I've got some random stuff that I was picking up as I was running over here. If you want to see the larger map, like in most games, you're going to press M. And that's also how you fast travel. Anything that you've unlocked, you can just click it and fast travel by clicking space or clicking the button with your mouse. To hide the UI and enter immersive mode, press F6. Now everything's pretty. Oh, that's actually beautiful. This game is so pretty. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that. Anyways. To go out of it, just press F6 again. To enter face zoom mode, press F5. And you can just zoom in and out of your character. You can press tab to switch cameras. <laughs> that one's really close. That's about it. Do you like my beard? You already know if I could make a bearded lady, I was going to love the game. So I was pretty happy once I saw I could have a beard. It's a little creepy on me, but uh, you know, we're rocking it. To use emotes, press F2. And then just use the number that corresponds to the emote that you want to use. We'll beg. Beg for good RNG. Beg for no more interfaces. <laughs> to enter picture mode, press F7. And once you're here, you have a bunch of options, but something I want to point out is that if you're having a hard time locating your saved photos, click album here at the top. And then at the bottom, you'll see open local folder. This will show you where your pictures are saved on your computer if you're having a hard time finding it. If you find yourself stuck in the game, you can press escape. When you're not in picture mode, you can press escape. Go to settings. And then unstuck with X or just click it at the bottom left of the screen. Okay, now let's talk about some interfaces. To open the quest interface, you're going to press J, as in J... I can't... Uh, jam. <laughs> I can think of a word that starts with J. That's actually crazy. To open the encyclopedia, press F1. Here you can find information about how to do things like I'm telling you right now. There's more specific information. I'm just giving you kind of the things that I think are very important. This is where you'll also find the Q&A, and I guess you can type in a question. How to stroll. There we go. Easy. 
That's actually kind of cool that they have that feature. To open the notification center and social hub, you have two options. You can press T, as in toy, or you can just press enter. It does the same exact thing. From this menu, you can add friends or remove them if you've fallen out of friendship with someone. You can see your private messages, you can see the global chat, and you can also manage your chat preferences and settings from the settings cog in the bottom left. If you don't want the chat to appear on your screen, you can just switch over to exploration mode and that'll take it off. To open your gear and abilities interface, you're going to press H, like happy. Because we are happy that we get to play this game now. <laughs> I already went over this earlier, but just in case you skip to this part of the video, press B to open your bag. It's an interface, so I wanted to include it here as well. And then to access cosmetics, you're going to press escape, click appearance under character, and then you can just scroll through the options using Q and E or your mouse to click the different tabs. This is also where you can manage your mounts and choose which mount that you want to appear when you summon your mount. There are mount settings. You can also choose to release it if you want or go sell it. But I love this mount. I wanted the black and white one because I just think they're so sleek. And I finally found one that has multiple skills or traits. So that's awesome. Because the one that I was using that I liked was, uh, it only had two traits, which is kind of doo-doo. But to select a mount to summon specifically, all you have to do is right click it. And once you see that green triangle in the corner, that means that it's going to appear when you summon a mount. Another important thing that you can do here is you can also lock your mount. So that way you don't accidentally release it or sell it or anything if you want to keep it forever. And finally, to view and change your keybinds, press escape, go to settings. And then here where it says button settings under keyboard and mouse, you're going to click these arrows and this will take you to your keybinds. What you can do here is you can just change whatever you want to. You can click the keybind and then press a button that you would like it to be instead of the one that it is. I'll make that G and we'll hit confirm and that cleared this one. And I'm just going to switch them back real quick. So this one confirm this one X or you can switch it to your mouse by clicking a mouse button on this side. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you at least a little bit. If it did, make sure to subscribe for more Where Winds Meet guides and tips. And if you made it this far in the video, drop some stars in the comments. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. But most importantly, be kind to one another. See you next time, friends.